Hey everybody, it's time now to giddy up to the 18th annual Gold Derby TV Awards, which are bestowed by the thousands of users at goldderby.com, where they predict more than 36 Hollywood awards per year. Yeah, 36. So hey, if everyone else in town can have an award, why can't we? Nobody knows awards better than Gold Derby, so that means ours is the best, right? I'm Tom O'Neill, founder and editor of Gold Derby, and I'm here now with our whole team of editors who will read off the nominees and announce the winners who, by the way, have a pretty good chance of actually being here with us today to accept. Two thirds of our winners will be joining us to make acceptance speeches, so stick around. But now it's time for me to pass off to the real stars of Gold Derby, the editors, who will each give you a little teaser about what's ahead in today's show. Starting with you, Chris Beecham, our website's managing editor, who also manages these awards and does a great job. Thank you, Chris. What you got for us? Welcome to our 18th annual Gold Derby TV Awards. Uh, we will be announcing 30 categories today. And uh, as soon as we get done with this ceremony, we'll be sending out official lovely certificates that go out to all the winners through their reps. And let me tell you, they really keep track of these Gold Derby Awards. We see them out at a party, they'll mention how many they've won, and uh, that it means a lot to them coming from TV fans. So we'll be sending those out as soon as the ceremony is over today. Hello, I'm Joyce Ang, and in case you're wondering, we are announcing these a day before final Emmy voting begins. So if you're a voter out there right now watching this and you're still undecided, feel free to take any of our winners. I'm Daniel Montgomery. We had 2,000, uh, more than 2,000 voters, uh, and you think your voice doesn't matter. Well, it does, because in five of these categories, the margin was less than 20 votes. That's within 1%. Uh, so every vote matters here, as always. Uh, and there were five races that were decided by more than 400 votes. So, so there were some really strong consensus choices as well. Um, and unlike the Emmys, which never tell you who finished second or third or fourth, uh, we are very transparent here after the presentation of all these awards. We will come back and discuss some of those margins of victories, some of those closest categories, and some of those most interesting statistics. So stay tuned after the presentation for that. I'm Latasha Poor, Associate Editor and Social Media Manager here at Gold Derby. I am actually one of the newest members to the team. And just in case you're wondering who in the heck are these voters? Well, it's pretty simple. They are nuts. They are absolutely insane award nuts, just like us here at Gold Derby. I'm Paul Sheehan, executive editor of Gold Derby. And I'm delighted to tell you that if you've lost track of who won or who got nominated in any category, you can find all that information on IMDb. It's on each and every one of the nominee and winners uh, pages. Just click on awards and you'll find the Gold Derby Awards above the Golden Globes. I am Marcus James Dixon, senior editor at Gold Derby. And by the way, everyone, I hope you're ready for some jaw droppers today because in two of our categories, the winner is not even nominated at the Emmys. And in some other cases, the winner will be somebody that you're not expecting. We guarantee it. I'm Christopher Rosen. We've even got three categories here that the Emmys don't actually have. So stay tuned through the end of the ceremony to see who won Best Breakthrough Performer, Best Ensemble of the Year, and Performer of the Year as well. And while I could really listen to everyone here talk uh, for another two hours at least, let's get off to the races and let's get this started uh, with Joyce Ng to present the first of the Gold Derby Awards this year. Hello, I'm honored to present the first category we have here, Variety Talk Series. The nominees are Conan, the Daily Show with Trevor Noah, Full Frontal with Samantha B, Jimmy Kimmel Live, Last Week Tonight with John Oliver, and The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. And the winner is Conan. Hey, Conan O'Brien here. This is very exciting. I've just been informed uh, that my show won the coveted Gold Derby TV Award, and that means a great deal to me. It really does, mostly because this is thousands of people, real fans, voting. And they thought that our work on The Conan Show merited this award. I am blown away. I really am. I'm blown away. Thank you so much to the Gold Derby voters. And uh, not too familiar with what the prize is, you know, guessing it's like a gift certificate for 10, 
$15,000, who knows, or maybe it's an award itself, a very heavy gold award. Whatever it is, as long as it's in that range, I'm going to be very happy until my very expensive award shows up. I'll use this as a place filler. Ah, uh, thrilled. A gold derby award. Thank you so much. Thank you for everyone who voted for us at the Conan Show. And uh, I'll always treasure this until the very expensive prize shows up, which I'm sure is coming. Anyway, thank you. Good night. Our next category is Variety Sketch Series. The nominees are A Black Lady Sketch Show, Saturday Night Live, and Tiffany Haddish Presents They Ready. And the winner is Saturday Night Live. Next, we're going into reality for competition program. The nominees are American Ninja Warrior, America's Got Talent, The Masked Singer, Nailed It, RuPaul's Drag Race, and The Voice. And the winner is RuPaul's Drag Race. Thank you, Gold Derby, for recognizing RuPaul's Drag Race as the best competition show for the fifth year in a row. <laughs> hey, I'd like to take this moment to speak to all the sweet, sensitive souls out there. Drag Race is here to remind you that you are not alone. We see you, we love you, and we dedicate this award to all of you. Thank you. With reality hosts, the nominees are Nicole Byer, Nailed It, RuPaul Charles, RuPaul's Drag Race, Tiffany Haddish, Kids Say the Darnest Things, Jane Krakowski, Name That Tune, Jane Lynch, Week is Link, and the Queer Eye hosts from Queer Eye. And the winner is RuPaul Charles, also not his first win. Thank you, Gold Derby. I share this honor with my amazing Drag Race cast and crew with my fearless partners at World of Wonder and CBS Viacom, and most importantly, with my beloved queens. You know, year after year, to provide an international platform for these courageous and talented artists is the greatest reward of all. Thank you. And now I'll start off the comedy categories. I'll be presenting four in a row, comedy guest actress nominees are Tina Fey, Girls 5 Eva, Maya Rudolph, Saturday Night Live, Susan Sarandon, Search Party, Elizabeth Shue, Cobra Kai, Anya Taylor-Joy, Saturday Night Live, and Kristen Wiig, Saturday Night Live. And our winner of the Gold Derby Award is Maya Rudolph for SNL. Hi, I wanted to say thank you so much uh, for this, thank you to Gold Derby, and thank you so much to everyone who voted. Uh, what a what a cool thing! And uh, thank you to Saturday Night Live who um, have made me so happy to get to come back uh, and do something that I love at the place that I love so much. Um, I think that's what makes this so nice is that. People really loved uh, this particular episode and I couldn't be more proud because um, it's uh, near and dear to my heart. So thank you to my family at Saturday Night Live and to Lauren and to everybody um, who's, always, who's always there for me. All right, thank you, bye. Comedy guest actor nominees are Aziz Ansari, Master of None, Adam Driver, The Last Week Tonight with John Oliver, Morgan Freeman, The Kaminsky Method, Anthony Head, Ted Lasso, Dan Levy, Saturday Night Live, Andrew Reynolds, Girls 5 Eva. And our Gold Derby winner for comedy guest actor is Dan Levy for SNL. Comedy Supporting Actress nominees, we have seven. 
Um, they are Hannah Einbinder, Hacks, Holly Hunter, Mr. Mayor, Kate McKinnon, Saturday Night Live, Jamie Presley for Mom, Cecily Strong, Saturday Night Live, Juno Temple, Ted Lasso, Hannah Waddingham, Ted Lasso. And our winner is from Ted Lasso, Hannah Waddingham. Hi guys, Hannah Waddingham calling. I can't stop grinning. I, I, I didn't see that one coming at all. And for it to be with Gold Derby, it just means the world because that's that's proper fans and people with such a discerning palette and that really means the world to me it really really does it makes me feel like i'm doing something right so thank you to gold derby thank you to everyone who voted for me it's just magical thank you so much and uh lots of love bye and the nominees for comedy supporting actor are brett goldstein ted lasso Mikhail Hausman, The Flight Attendant, Brendan Hunt, Ted Lasso, Nick Muhammad, Ted Lasso, Alex Newell, Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist, Keenan Thompson, Saturday Night Live, and Bowen Yang, Saturday Night Live. And he is our winner, Bowen Yang from SNL. Wow, what an honor. Uh, thank you so much. I'm so, so, so thrilled to be winning my first Gold Derby Award, maybe my last. I um truly truly love um gold derby just as a as as a site as a community um you guys are probably the only remaining um community of smart people on the internet i think who are able to give nuanced thoughts and takes on things um so this means a lot and i hope everyone's having fun on you know part 8 of the um you know, Oscars 2022 prediction uh, discussion board, um, you know, because that, there's there's spirited debate to be had already about um, what movies might might win. So um, again, huge honor. Um, and it combines, I mean, Gold Derby combines my favorite things, which is data and um, awards. So uh, this is really, really special. Thanks so much. And I will be closing out the comedy categories, starting with comedy actress. The nominees are Sarah Bareilles, Girls 5 Eva, Kaylee Cuoco, The Flight Attendant, Maya Erskine, Pen15, Renee Elise Goldsberry, Girls 5 Eva, Jane Levy, Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist, and Jean Smart for Hacks. And the Gold Derby Award goes to Jean Smart. Moving on to comedy actor, the nominees are Anthony Anderson, Blackish, Michael Cimino, Love Victor, Michael Douglas, The Kaminsky Method, Martin Freeman, Readers, William H. Macy, Shameless, and Jason Sudeikis, Ted Lasso. And the winner is Jason Sudeikis. And moving on to comedy episode, this is where we kind of combine the directing and the writing that the Emmys have, and we give it to both of them at the same time. The nominees are All Apologies, Ted Lasso, The Hope That Kills You, Ted Lasso, I Think She Will, Hacks, Make Rebecca Great Again, Ted Lasso, Play, Pen15, and Vendi Wickeny, Pen15, and the Gold Derby Award goes to Hacks for I Think She Will. Hello, thank you guys so, so much for this award. We are so flattered and grateful and feel so special to be uh, awarded with it. Um, and thank you to our cast and crew and the entire village of people that it takes to make uh, this show. We feel really lucky to work alongside all of them. And thank you so much to everyone who's watched the show and told a friend about the show or told a colleague. Um, that's really nice and we really appreciate it and that's why people have been able to see the show's word of mouth so we really really appreciate it thank you so much thanks gold derby thank you gold derby thank you for all your support and thank you for recognizing um our show and all the great shows on tv thank you and the last comedy category is comedy series the nominees are cobra kai the flight attendant 
Girls 5 Eva, Hacks, Love Victor, Pen15, Ted Lasso, and Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist. And the Gold Derby Award goes to Ted Lasso. Hey, Gold Derby, it's Bill Lawrence. I just wanted to thank you for all the support and love you've given Ted Lasso. Really appreciate it. Uh, one of the complicated things about this show and Emmys and awards and stuff, it's kind of the zeitgeist of Ted Lasso as a show is to not get caught up in awards and not really care about winning or losing. Uh, and we don't, you know, I, I mean, it's so fun to get to do this. Uh, and I'm most grateful for this opportunity to tell the cast and crew and writers and my partners, Jason Sudeikis and Brendan Hunt and Joe Kelly, how proud I am of them and how happy I am that they're getting recognized for their work. The smartest thing I've done in my career lately is I hitch my wagon to super talented people that I would want to spend time with anyways. So thank you all and uh, thank you Gold Derby and uh, I hope I get a Gold Derby. Thank your wife. And thank you Krista. You're welcome. And I will kick us off in the drama categories starting with uh, Best Drama Guest Actress. The nominees are Alexis Bledel, The Handmaid's Tale. Rosario Dawson, The Mandalorian, Claire Foy, The Crown, Julia Louis-Dreyfus, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Sophie Okonedo for Ratched, and Angelica Ross for Pose. And the winner is Rosario Dawson for The Mandalorian. Thank you so much, Gold Derby, for the honor of receiving the award for Best Drama Guest Actress. I mean, I have been so incredibly humbled by the support from fans since I began on this journey. If it wasn't for the fans, I wouldn't have even been on this journey. The Mandalorian was, is a very special experience, and it's been an amazing ride being able to bring Ahsoka to life for live action. The creative team, led masterfully by Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni, truly helped capture the essence of this world and created an environment where I was able to fully immerse into this wonderful character, one that I feel very close to. Um, I feel very special to have been able to be a part of this. Um, and thank you all again for this incredible, wonderful honor. Thank you. Thank you. For Best Drama Guest Actor, the nominees are Charles Dance for The Crown, Patrick Dempsey for Grey's Anatomy, Mark Hamill for The Mandalorian, T.R. Knight for Grey's Anatomy, Timothy Oliphant for The Mandalorian, and Courtney B. Vance for Lovecraft Country. And the Gold Derby Award winner is Charles Dance for The Crown. Greetings from Little Britain. Uh, now listen, I was very glad to be asked to be part of The Crown. It is an extraordinary series. But now to be given a Gold Derby Award for my contribution to it, well, I'm, I'm, I'm filled with gratitude. So um, thank you Left Bank Pictures and Netflix and everyone who voted for me. I am in your debt, and thank you very, very much. Um, now, listen, um, if you haven't had your COVID vaccine yet, do go and get it, because it's very, very important. Thank you. For Best Drama Supporting Actress, the nominees are Gillian Anderson, The Crown, Helena Bonham Carter, The Crown, Madeline Brewer, The Handmaid's Tale, Erin Doherty, The Crown, Emerald Fennell, The Crown, Dominique Jackson for Pose, Wumi Masaku for Lovecraft Country, and Michelle Yeoh for Star Trek Discovery. And the winner is Gillian Anderson for The Crown. Thank you, Gold Derby, for all your support over the last um, award season. Um, I know we've spoken on many occasions, and um, I feel like I've been talking about Thatcher for about 10 years, <laughs> but um, you've always been so supportive and asked such um, interesting questions. And um, so thank you. Uh, thank you very much for this award. And um, thank you to everyone on The Crown, all the other actors, and to Netflix, and to Left Bank, and all the producers behind the crown. It was such a, uh, overall, such a wonderful experience and I'm incredibly grateful. So 
Thank you, Goldrby. For Best Drama Supporting Actor, the nominees are Jonathan Bailey, Bridgerton, Daniel Bruhl for The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Giancarlo Esposito for The Mandalorian, Justin Hartley, This Is Us, Tobias Menzies, The Crown, Wyatt Russell, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Bradley Whitford, The Handmaid's Tale, and Michael K. Williams for Lovecraft Country. And the winner is Michael K. Williams for Lovecraft Country. First of all, I want to just acknowledge all of the other thespians that were considered for this amazing honor by the Gold Derby. Um, I truly believe that once our names are on a, a list like this, we're, we're already all winners. So major shout out to all the, all the other contestants and the people that were considered for this, this Gold Derby acknowledgement. Second, I want to just acknowledge my castmates, uh, Jonathan, Journey, Ajanu, Wumi, Jada, uh, uh, my big brother, Courtney B. Vance, the writers and, and the producers. Thank you. There is no me without you guys. Um, this was truly a collaborative effort and a, and a family vibe that we had a, on the set of Lovecraft. And I could not have done this without you guys. Um, lastly, I want to just thank the, all of the voters at the Gold Derby. Um, and thank you to the Gold Derby family for always supporting me in anything that I do and for just seeing me, you know, at a, at a time like this, um, and particularly with the, the storyline that Lovecraft speaks of, it feels really humbling to be seen as, as a Black man. And uh, I just wanted to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for all your acknowledgement and your support of anything that I've ever done. Thank you. I'm Chris Rosenbach to do the Drama Actor, Actress episode and series awards. Starting off with Drama Actress, the nominees are Olivia Coleman for The Crown, Emma Corrin for The Crown, Dakota Fanning for The Alienist, Angel of Darkness, Elizabeth Moss for The Handmaid's Tale, and MJ Rodriguez for Pose, and Journey Smollett for Lovecraft Country. And the winner is Emma Corrin for The Crown. Hi, I'm Emma Corrin, and I just wanted to say such a huge thank you to Gold Derby and to all the fans who voted um, and who embraced not only my performance, but also the series, um, season four of The Crown. Uh, I had the best time on that show, and everyone, Peter Morgan, Suzanne Mackey, Left Bank, Netflix, and the incredible cast and crew, the amazing Josh O'Connor, everyone just worked so hard to make it like the best experience ever, and I'm just, yeah, I'm thrilled that you enjoyed it so much that, um, yeah, this, these awards happened. It's sort of, I can't really wrap my head around it, but um, thank you so much. Next drama actor, the nominees are Jonathan Majors for Lovecraft Country, Josh O'Connor for The Crown, Billy Porter for Pose, Matthew Reese for Perry Mason, Sebastian Stan for The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and Anthony Starr for The Boys, and the winner of the Gold Derby Award in the Drama Act category is Josh O'Connor for The Crown. For Drama Episode, the nominees are Chapter 13, The Jedi from The Mandalorian, Baggin from The Crown, Fairy Tale from The Crown, Series Finale for Pose, Terra Nullius for The Crown, and War for The Crown, Yet the winner of this one is Chapter 13, The Jedi from The Mandalorian. Thank you, Gold Derby Awards. Uh, really appreciate this honor. It, it's, it's just so exciting uh, to be recognized uh, this way. And uh, I want to thank Rosario Dawson for her performance as Ahsoka. She just brought the character to life in such a magical way and I think uh, made it a very special episode. Uh, I want to thank Jon Favreau. Uh, you know, making this uh, series with him is, is so exciting, so fun. Uh, Kathleen Kennedy, Carrie Beck, you know, we're just uh, Lucasfilm, you know, like I said, we're having a tremendous time making this series and uh, it's really special for all of us. I uh, also want to thank George Lucas. Uh, none of us would be here doing any of this uh, without him creating the galaxy in the first place. So thank you, George. Uh, he's been such a great mentor to me and it's a real privilege to carry on uh, his saga. Uh, thank you so much. May the force be with you. And finally, drama series. The nominees are The Alienist, Angel of Darkness, Bridgerton, The Boys, The Crown, Handmaid's Tale, Lovecraft Country, 
The Mandalorian, and Pose. And the winner of Best Drama Series is The Crown. Thank you. This is thrilling. Honestly, this means so much to us. Thank you, Gold Derby, for recognising Season 4 and for all the Crown fans out there. I'm only one of an extraordinary team of people, many of whom have been on the show since the very beginning. A team of people who work with so much dedication, passion and talent. Thank you to my fabulous Crown colleagues. Thank you to the most amazing, beautiful, funny, gracious, thoughtful, dazzling season four cast. The pandemic meant we never got to say goodbye to them and to say thank you. Thank you to everyone at Left Bank Pictures and Sony, and thank you to the brilliant team at Netflix who continue to be such great creative partners on this journey. And finally, thank you to our showrunner, writer, maestro, and friend, His Royal Highness Peter Morgan. I'm Paul Sheehan, and I'll be handing out the four awards for acting in limited series or TV movies. The nominees for limited series or TV movie supporting actress are Catherine Hahn, WandaVision, Keely Hawes, It's a Sin, Mariel Heller, The Queen's Gambit, Tania Miller, Haunting of Bly Manor, Julianne Nicholson, Mayor of Easton, and Jean Smart, Mayor of Easton. And the winner is Catherine Hahn. WandaVision. Oh, Gold Derby. Thank you so, so, so much for this award. I really am so shocked and surprised and really, really tickled, especially given the formidable talent in that category. Holy moly. Um, so thank you. I got to thank my Marvel family for taking such a leap with me. Um, and to Lizzie Olson for being such an amazing sparring partner and to my actual family. Sorry, mommy is, um, was out of town while she was shooting this, but hopefully it was worth it. <laughs> anyway, um, really, really moved by this. Thank you so, so, so much. For performance by a supporting actor in a limited series or TV movie, the nominees are John Boyega, Small Axe, Bill Camp, The Queen's Gambit, David Diggs, Hamilton, Papa has said to you, I may destroy you. Callum Scott Howells, It's a Sin, and Evan Peters, Mayor of Easttown. And the winner is Evan Peters, Mayor of Easton. Wow, thank you, Gold Derby. Um, who would have thought all that drinking uh, would have paid off? Um, so I wanna thank the Gold Derby for this award, I you guys have been so nice to me over the years and so supportive and complimentary. And I just want to say thank you for that. And, and especially for this, this is really the icing on the cake. So, uh, so thank you. Um, I want to thank HBO and A.V. Kaufman for, for giving me the opportunity to be in this show. I, I Gavin O'Connor, Brad Inglesby, Craig Zobel, uh, Kate Winslet, uh, Kate Winslet. Uh, she's exceeded every expectation, and um, working with her was a dream come true, and I could not have done this part without her, and I really have learned so much from her, so I'm so grateful to her, so thank you, Kate. Um, and, uh, man, this is awesome! So, thank you so much, Gold Derby, and uh, have a great day. The nominees for Best Performance by an Actress in a Leading Role in a Limited Series or TV Movie are Michaela Coyle, I May Destroy You, Kate Mara, A Teacher, Elizabeth Olsen, WandaVision, Victoria Pedretti, Haunting of Bly Manor, Ann Taylor Joy, The Queen's Gambit, and Kate Winslet, Mayor of Easton. And the winner is Kate Winslet, Mayor of Easton. The nominees for Best Performance by an Actor in a Leading Role in a Limited Series or TV Movie are Ali Alexander, It's a Sin, Paul Bettany, WandaVision, Hugh Grant, The Undoing, Ethan Hawke, The Good Lord Bird, Ewan McGregor, Halston, Leslie Odom Jr., Hamilton. And the winner is Paul Bettany, WandaVision. Thank you so much for this Golden Derby Award. I feel, I feel really honoured to receive it, especially in a year full of so many extraordinary performances. 
I really want to thank, of course, our brilliant producers, Kevin Feige, Luis Desposito, uh, Victoria Alonso, and Mary Lovanos. Uh, also got to thank Matt Chapman, our amazing director, and his team of editors who clearly cut out all of my bad acting. And then, of course, I owe a debt of gratitude to Jack Schaefer and her amazing room of writers for giving me such good stuff to say and um, for making my weird purple robot seem almost human. Lastly, I want to say thank you to my extraordinary fellow cast members, Catherine, Tiana, Kat, Randall, Josh, everybody, I, I, I love you. But mostly to Lizzie Olsen, the most generous actor anyone could ever hope to work with. So thank you again, all at Golden Derby and all who voted for this incredible honor. Hi, Latasha here with you again. One, two, the nominees for the TV movie category. Christmas on the Square, Oslo, Sylvie's Love, Uncle Frank, Unfriended. And the winner of the Gold Derby Award goes to Sylvie's Love. Gold Derby fans and experts may be able to predict who will win the biggest Hollywood races. But as a filmmaker, I never could have predicted how much the world would change between the time I shot Sylvie's Love and when it was released, or how much it would come to mean to fans to watch Sylvie and Robert fall in love over the summer of 1959. On behalf of the entire cast and crew of Sylvie's Love, I'd like to thank everyone at Gold Derby for this Best TV Movie Award. Thank you. On to the limited series category. We have The Hunting of Bly Manor, I May Destroy You, Is a Sin, Mayor of Easttown, The Queen's Gavin, and Wanda Vision. And the winner of the limited series category goes to Wanda Vision. Last but certainly not least, we have the animated program. The nominees are Archer, Big Mouth, Bob's Burgers, Harley Quinn, Invincible, and The Simpsons. Who do you think took that one, guys? Invincible. Hey everybody, Robert Kirkman here from the Undisclosed Location. I was just told that we won a Gold Derby Award for Best Animated Program for uh, Invincible. I think that's amazing. Very crowded year, lots of great stuff. Tremendous honor. So thank you so much on behalf of myself and people like Corey Walker, Simon Rassiopa, Catherine Winder, David Alpert, Jeff Allen, and the other of dozens of hundreds of people that put all kinds of blood, sweat, tears, and extra blood into making the Invincible series. It's an honor to be recognized. Thank you very much. And now I'm Tom O'Neill to give out those three awards you don't see at the Emmys, starting with Breakthrough Performer of the Year. The nominees, Holly Alexander, Emma Corrin, Chloe Feynman, Wumi Masaku, Reggae Jean Page, and Hannah Waddingham. And the winner is Emma Corrin. Next category, Ensemble of the Year. The nominees are Bridgerton, The Crown, Girls Five Eva, Mayor of Easttown, Pose, and Ted Lasso. The winner, The Crown. Hi, I'm Emma Corrin, and on behalf of the whole ensemble of The Crown, Peter, Suzanne, um, Ben, Josh, and everyone else, um, I just want to extend such a huge thank you to Gold Derby and all the fans who voted for us for Ensemble of the Year. Um, it's the biggest honor, and um, yeah, a huge thank you. And now, for the final category of the day, Performer of the Year. The nominees are Michaela Cole, Emma Corrin, Elizabeth Olsen, Jean Smart, Anya Taylor-Joy, and Kate Winslet. The winner is Jean 
smart. Thank you, everyone who voted for this Gold Derby Award uh, for me and my performance. is very uh, humbling. I know that the people who vote for these awards watch a lot of television, so this makes it particularly special. Um, and the name of this award, Gold Derby, I kind of feel like a, a thoroughbred horse, kind of. I was going to get a big thing of roses around my neck, but I didn't have time. But uh, I'm very, very flattered, and I'm very pleased the show uh, is being just enjoyed by so many people. And I've enjoyed playing the role of Deborah Vance so much that to have it honored like this just is the cherry on top. And again, thank you so, so much. I really, really appreciate it. Keep watching. Congratulations to all the winners. That concludes the awards presentation of our uh, show here. But remember, at the top of the show, we promised to give you the inside track on how the voting actually went. So let's bring back all of the editors now. Turn on your mics, remember, so that you can talk. And I want Daniel to start and tell us what were the closest races? What were some of the real, you know, just tell us. Remember back in the olden days, the Oscars used to actually tell you who came in first, second, and third, and so forth. Daniel, spill the beans. Uh, well, I'll start with uh, just a few vote totals. Uh, you know, The Crown is the biggest winner. It won six. Uh, Saturday Night Live won four. And then a couple of shows won three. Uh, Ted Lasso and WandaVision, all uh, four of those shows won their top program award. Uh, so congratulations to those shows. Uh, but yeah, we did have some squeakers. I teased ahead of time that there were five races that were within 20 votes, again, within 1% of all people who voted for these Gold Derby Awards. That's how close they were. The very closest was one vote, um, and that was Rosario Dawson. She squeaked out a win over Julie Louis-Dreyfus for Drama Guest Actress, um, Julie Louis-Dreyfus, who we've awarded before multiple times for Veep. Um, so she's got some of these on, on her, on her, uh, her mantle already. Um, and yeah, we had a lot of Marvel Julia, fans come out. Julia, we still love you. Julia, we still love you. We don't want you mad at us. No, 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 no. <laughs> Julia should not, should not, that there's no shame in this at all because, like, <laughs> Julia Louis-Dreyfus nearly beat Star Wars is how close she came to this. So, like, <laughs> so that mean, uh, on the internet. Uh, not the number one and number two, Rosario and Julia, both were snubbed at the Emmys. Isn't that funny? Ooh, yeah, ouch. And, uh, uh, and, by the, by the, and by the way, the reason we gave Julia Louis Dreyfus a shout out is because she uh, often confesses how, how much she loves awards and is obsessed by them like the rest of us at Gold Derby. <laughs> Yeah, and, and there's some other ones. Uh, two of the closest races were comedy episode and drama episode. And this is this one is fascinating, especially for us Emmy nerds, because we're always wondering, oh, is vote splitting a thing? Is it going to be a problem in this category when you have four nominations? Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Both these edit, uh, episode categories were clearly determined in some large part by vote splitting, uh, because hacks... Uh, I think she will uh, beat uh, Ted Lasso's Make Rebecca Great Again was the uh, top voted uh, Ted Lasso episode by 10 votes. Um, and the other uh, Ted Lasso episodes, uh, you know, The Hope That Kills You had 253 votes and All Apologies had 144 votes. So if those, if, if, if it had just been one episode, if it had just been Make Rebecca Great Again, I'm almost certain that at least 11 of those people who voted for another Ted Lasso episode probably would have voted for it and snuck it over uh, uh, Hacks, which is to take nothing away from Hacks, of course. It's just uh, interesting to see what happens when you have multiple nominees. Uh, and the same thing happened for drama episode. Uh, Mandalorian, the Jedi over the Crown's fairy tale. Uh, that was a 14-vote margin, and there were four Crown episodes in that category dividing support. Um, so we didn't see it in other categories. Uh, Jillian Anderson won comfortably over her Crown co-stars, uh, you know, uh, among among other places, but yeah, those those are some interesting vote splits. Makes me wonder if the Emmys on the Ted Lasso and the Crown both have a lot of episodes in directing and writing. Yeah, um, is that going to hurt them at the Emmys like it did here? Yeah, I think it will for Ted Lasso. I, I have uh, I think I have the flight attendant predicted to win the directing. Each flight attendant. 
that yeah. also overcame a vote split there. Yeah, because when you have that many episodes, uh, like, it, you know, even more than when you have multiple actors who you can see one actor having clearly more support than another actor from the same show, when you have different episodes and, and maybe if you're a fan of the show, you binged it, you don't necessarily remember what title went with each episode. And, you know, it might be a, it might be more of an issue in, in categories like that. Mm. Uh, and, and then I also wanted to uh, go into a couple of the biggest margins. The biggest margin of victory by far was uh, uh, Jason Sudeikis for comedy actor. Uh, by He won that over second place, wasn't even nominated for an Emmy, which is Martin Freeman for Breeders. Uh, he beat him by six, 716 votes. <laughs> oh, um, my God. And... Uh, and then Michael uh, Cimino, who we all, who also wasn't nominated for an Emmy, is actually third place in that race. So wow. it was Jason Sudeikis, two actors who weren't nominated. Jason Sudeikis had more votes than every other nominee in this category combined. Um, but I mean, the good news is that the the even last place uh, had you know triple digit votes. So there was you know a lot of people voted for these, a lot of support to go around. Like finishing wherever doesn't mean that no one was was supporting you, uh, like even in a, a race that was this big of a blowout, there was a lot of support to go around, just uh, a lot, 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 lot more fit for Jason Sudeikis. By the way, I want to uh, explain one of the reasons we chose to bestow these awards the day before any voting begins, is that if you look back historically over the past 18 years of both awards, they tend to agree about two thirds of the time, sometimes as high as 70% of the time. And it's occurred to us, wait a minute, um, we used to hold these awards uh, after any voting was over. Uh, and so uh, are we copying them or are they copying us? Or so we decided let's get in front of the Emmys this time and see how much of an overlap there may be or not be. It would be very curious to see the outcome. Yeah, uh, and then uh, some other interesting uh, notes. We have a couple of winning streaks that continue. Um, uh, Saturday Night Live has won uh, Best uh, Variety Sketch Series five times in a row now. Um, and including the years before, we like the Emmys, we split them up between Variety Talk, Variety Sketch, uh, when the categories were combined, SNL actually won two other times with us. Uh, so it has seven total Best Variety Series awards. That's more than any other variety program, uh, including The Daily Show with us, including uh, Last Week Tonight. Um, and speaking of Last Week Tonight, Conan broke Last Week Tonight's yeah. five-year winning streak. Um, and, and, you know, interestingly enough, Conan is very good at goodbyes because the last time Conan won Best Variety Series with us was uh, The Tonight Show. Uh, after, you know, he was uh, infamously fired in that uh, gigantic... He fired, he walked away. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was pushed out after they tried to, like, sneak in Jay Leno back before, <laughs> before him in, in, like, this prime time <laughs> slot. It was, uh, you know, it, it, uh, it, it didn't end well, let's just say that. Between <laughs> that was a tight margin, wasn't it? Didn't, didn't he just barely beat John Oliver today? Yeah, that was a tight margin. John Oliver has had such a stranglehold over this for the last five years. Uh, Conan has beat him by just 16 votes. As he has at the Emmys. And so uh, we're wondering if the same situation will mirror itself there. And at the beginning of the show, I mentioned that there were two of our winners that weren't even up at the Emmys. And that was Rosario Dawson, who we mentioned. And then the animated winner, Invincible, won with us, but not, not up at the Emmys. Wow. Yeah, Gold Derby tends to go its own way with animated. Uh, we gave, uh, before Invincible, um, you know, Invincible's probably happy that BoJack Horseman ended its run uh, because BoJack Horseman won this for the last five years in a row, including the Decade Award for the Best uh, Animated Program of 2010 to 2019. So, uh, so yeah, that, that show ended its run, and so Invincible had an opening. It was still close. It, it beat, uh, it beat uh, The Simpsons by 11 votes. Um, Simpsons has won with us before, and of course, uh, it will probably get another 7,000 chances in the future, because uh, it, it will never end. <laughs> uh, so, so yeah, that was... Can I say uh, how excited I was on our nominations for Performer of the Year, to have six women, no men at all, under Performer of the Year, and then for it to be really the, you know, the <laughs> oldest person in that category amongst a lot of 
you know, women in their 20s and 30s. I just, I just love that Gene Smart won that and that it was among six women. Yeah, I mean, it's actually, you know, in keeping with the trend with us, uh, women far outnumber men among our historical performer of the year winners. Uh, 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 and, and Gene Smart actually now has won four different Gold Derby Awards in four different areas. So she won comedy for Hacks uh, today. She has won drama supporting for 24 um, uh, way back when. She won movie limited supporting for Fargo with us. Uh, uh, you know, she didn't win either of those at the Emmys, even though she was nominated for both those at the Emmys. And now she has one performer of the year. So that's four Gold Derby Awards for Gene Smart. You know, but um, if I can just interject my private um, bias here is that um, while Ted laughs out and The Crown will probably sweep the Emmys and certainly deserve to uh, in every way, especially The Lasso, which just, just dared to go to great emotional places that you're usually not allowed to go to in a cynical uh, 21st century. I just love the whole Gene Smart Renaissance this year, just like the Catherine O'Hara, uh, let's salute the veteran uh, grand dame of the business here. It's, uh, just, just some of you might remember that uh, for 12 years, I was uh, occasionally on the red carpet with Joan Rivers on E! Network. And I say occasionally because they would put me on camera with them whenever they didn't have a star, uh, Joan and uh, Melissa to interview. And I would do some stats and stuff and then go off. So I got to know her a little bit over those 12 years. And uh, Hacks, of course, the producers deny it, but Hacks, of course, is uh, largely based on Joan Rivers and the way they nail that character, the brutality, the honesty, but the wonderful heart in it too is just, I think really makes that, this whole thing, it, it's to have her be the performer of the year, it just warms my heart. Yeah, and uh, we had a couple of other interesting stats with uh, The Crown, which did win six. Uh, it's actually, to my surprise, I thought I'd find someone, uh, the first drama series to win lead actor and lead actress in the same year. Um, the only other one that sort of counts is Edie Falco and James Gandolfini won the Decade Awards for 2000 to 2009. But in the individual yearly awards, no show has won both of those lead acting prizes at the same time. And Josh O'Connor and Emma Corrin, if I'm not mistaken, are both the youngest ever to win their categories. Uh, Josh O'Connor, definitely. Emma Corrin's 25. I believe she's the youngest. We didn't award a Zendaya last year like the Emmys did. She was a little younger. Um, so yeah, it, it's, a, it's a, a history being made twice over there. And actually, this is the first Gillian Anderson win, quite surprisingly. I, I, I thought... Hey. <laughs> She's so happy. <laughs> I thought we'd given it to her for like Bleak House or, or something uh, in the past, but uh, no, uh, this is her first. I didn't think she was nominated in the last year or two for uh, Sex Education, but yeah, her first win, because uh, obviously our Mark, X Files predates us. So. Yeah, Marcus is an X Files super nut fan. <laughs> right. I, I created a hundred awards back when X Files was on. Yeah. But you, I was joking. Yeah, actually, I, wins her. her I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, I was joking. I said I created 100 accounts just to vote for Jillian, but no, that's, that's <laughs> She didn't need them. If you created 100 accounts, if you subtract 100 votes from her tally, she still wins. <laughs> wow. You know, uh, let's clear the that one out thing because that... I see messages in the forums sometime going, you know, wondering, you know, if we manipulate anything. We don't. We each have one vote just like you've got, and we don't. We just go with whatever the results are. There's no, there's nothing else going on but but the two thousand people that voted. Um, and, uh, and also, Julia, she, 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 one second, because she won ensemble too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, Kate Winslet ha has won four times now also. Uh, she's won this uh, movie limited actress twice uh, for Mayor of Easttown and previously for Mildred Pierce, just like at the Emmys. Uh, and unlike at the Emmys, she won Best Comedy Guest Actress for Extras last decade and then Best Comedy Actress of the Decade last decade for Extras. So, Do you guys think that any of these will help us make our predictions for the Emmys? I mean, I'm looking at limited series. That's a tough Emmy category. Our winner was WandaVision. I don't know. It may be, I may switch to that. 
I've had WandaVision tentatively there. That might just be an internet thing. Like, like you know, a lot of Marvel fans are very online. Definitely they, Marvel fans creating 100 accounts, even if... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, and, and Marvel made a lot of these races close. Sebastian Stan was second for drama actor for yeah. Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Elizabeth Olsen was second for WandaVision for, for, uh, for both actress, uh, movie limited actress, and performer of the year. She finished second in both of those races. Uh, Daniel Brule was second for uh, uh, for uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier for drama supporting actor. So, like their fans came out in earnest. Would, uh, would Daniel the- have won if Wyatt weren't there? Possibly. Uh, you know they you know they had enough combined to have overtaken Michael K. Williams. Um, so mm. if no Wyatt, maybe it would have been Daniel Brule. But uh, with actors, it's harder to say if. Like, if Wyatt Russell weren't there, maybe some of them would have voted for Michael K. Williams. Maybe some of them would have voted, you know, maybe they just liked Wyatt Russell's performance in Falcon and the Winter Soldier. But it's possible that a vote split contributed to that because that win margin was within 100 votes. That's a fascinating category at the Emmys that one division, Queen's Gambit, Mayor of East Town. It might turn out to be one of those races, which we'll never know from an Emmy. You know, they're not going to give us counts. But it might be a handful of votes that decides between the three of those, because one of those yeah. three is probably winning the Emmy for limited series. Yeah, because if you consider that we had categories come down to like one vote or ten votes, and we had two thousand voters, the Emmys have more. But like, you know, it's it's entirely possible that a yeah, a vote comes down to ten. But in the meantime, we want you watching this video and your friends and everybody you know at Gold Derby. And, and those you have who, not, who are not yet participating to giddy up and get over to our prediction center and make your or tweak your predictions for the Emmys now that you know who the real cool cats have picked. <laughs> and let's see how many winners the Emmys steal from us this year. Ha! Uh, thank you for everybody who voted and thank you for, um, for playing with us. This is a, we really love awards and the fact that we get to give out our own to truly deserving winners is something very special to all of us. Thanks.